So, just sort of draw like a U, upside down U. Give them two little bobbly eyes, which is the category. And then a beak. And I always have to remember to draw, write the words first before doing the speech bubble. So, you don't often see birds front on because to look, they tip their heads to the sides. But you can draw a snowman bird where you do a circle, a circle on top, and then you have a triangle beak. But their beak's got a little bit of a curve in it usually. I just do these sort of wiggly shapes freehand, but you can kind of make the body as a big circle and the head as a smaller circle. And I, can, I have the eyes floating off, but you can do all different types of eyes and also all different types of beaks. So you can do big pointy beaks like a magpie. And I look at bird books and photos of birds to get ideas. So you can do like a parrot beak, which is very curvy. And I'll actually turn this one into a galah. And to make them look like they're looking at you, you can put some little lines there. With curious birds, they can also come up upside down. So parrots and things have got longer, almost tear-shaped bodies. You can even put him, have his wing come out a bit. And with birds, they move their head all over the place. So this little circle could come right around here if they're stretching around to have a look at what you're up to because birds are very curious. And another way to draw birds is two circles like a snowman and they're all hunched down so their head is, they might do this in winter, their head is tucked right into their body. So we've got these big, last two big birds. We'll do some big teardrops. We'll put a square on top. So we'll do this one as a galah with its feathers touched down. Sort of a little squiggle in there for the beak. And this galah's seen something, so it's um, feathers will be up. And these look pretty scratchy, but once you start um, adding a bit of colour to birds, that's when they really kind of come alive. And this guy's a bit wonky, but that can just add to his personality. And very last. You can draw birds just hiding in a hollow and just have the eyes. Well, for little baby birds, you can just draw fluff going everywhere.